what I'm doing. And well, I thought, if it is me, then I'll take it on. And I have. Uh, I want to thank the people for Koto Tourism City for entrusting me with their votes. I pledge my commitment to effectively represent them. I'm going to work with all the leaders that the people have voted so that we are able to transform for Koto City. I want to advocate for services, especially when you look at our referral hospital. There are very many things that lack. We need a city scan. That is one of the things that I want to go and look for to ensure that we have a city scan in this city. And also to ensure that we get enough funds. When you look at our city, we don't have garbage trucks. And this is a tourism city. So we need a clean city. So these are some of the things that we want to advocate and lobby for. And we have to ensure that the infrastructure development is good. We have to look at our roads. So we're going to advocate for more funds so that our roads have been so that our roads can be constructed. Well, that was Irinda Irene that has just been elected the woman member of parliament for Fort Porto. But before that, it was Salam Musumba that lost to Rebecca Kadaga in the race of Kamuli, woman member of parliament. Now, we'll now take a look at some of the winners for the Kampala Central Region. And once again, the number to send your thoughts on is 0781 277701. Once again, the number to send your thoughts on is 0781 277 701. I will just read like two of them before we dive into the winners in Kampala. I will start with uh um, I think this is Simon Ageta who says that this was a protest vote. The way I see, meaning the president has to look deep into what the people want. Uh, there is a big gap between a common person with the big people. And uh, you continue to say it is important for the government to look through some of the things that people need, the common person, what they need. It is time for them to see, to look into that. Looking at some of the winners in Kampala, we start with uh, um, Hamad and Seleko. Muhammad and Seleko right there on your screen that will represent Kampala Central Division as the Member of Parliament and the votes that he garnered were 16,998. Moving on, Shamim Malende is the Kampala Woman Member of Parliament and she got 312,104. A big congratulations to a big congratulation to you, Shamim and Muhammad and Seleko. Muhammad Sejelinya will be will be uh, will be representing Kawimpe Division North and garnered votes amounting to 41,197. Uh, in his acceptance speech, he did say that even those people that were opposing him instead oh. voted for him. Uh, but uh, moving on, Bashil Kaziwe, he was uh, part of us. Mbazira will be representing Kawempe Division South. He garnered votes amounting to 26,855. There you have it. Those are some of the winners we have in Kampala. Derek Nyeko, uh, Machinde Division East, garnered votes amounting to 20,455. Alan Sewanyana will be uh, the Machinde Division West, Member of Parliament, and he got 54,639 votes. Uganda decided, there you have it, Kampala decided, there you have your members of parliament. Moving on, Balimwezo Ronald and Subuga uh, garnered uh, 31,263 uh, and will be representing Nawa, uh, Nakawa Division East, will be the member of parliament for Nakawa Division East. There you have it, UG Decides 2021, you're watching NTV and we'll continue to bring you more of that. Winner, more winners, more winners, Joel Senyonyi. Uh, uh, will be the member of parliament for Nakawa Division West and got 31,653 votes. Now, you do remember Joel Senyonyi was a part of us not so long ago. More winners coming through. Um, uh, more winners coming through and also I see your views, your thoughts coming through. Some of you are in uh, in great uh, excitement for the members of, 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 of the NUP that have gathered and uh, attracted quite a huge a number of, of, of people that will be representing us in the 11th Parliament. And I'll pick just a few thoughts from you uh, so that you, you get to also be part of this conversation. Someone here is saying that change is always real. This should give a lesson to those who had 
who have survived to know that a service a delivery to the people of Uganda is paramount. You're, you're responding this. Uh, you're responding to the fact that there are some older members in the 11th parliament, in the 10th parliament, that we, we won't be seeing in the next. We'll now take you in for uh, the Secretary General of the NRM uh, Party that 